another tip I got when it comes to working with mental visualization. And these two I wasn't going to actually cover because I just spoke about them recently. But I thought they actually fit here because they have to do, they basically have to do with open eye illusions, but in particular, the kind that can disappear. So not like, say, you know, like the vase or two face illusion. Not that because it's easy enough to see either or of those and then to hold on to that perspective. I in particular like the kind that can disappear because I like how it gives your, it requires you, your mental focus to really stay locked in on it to maintain that view. So one example of this would be like, say, if you're looking at a piece of tree bark with a bunch of random patterns and shit on it, you kind of zone out for a bit, then all of a sudden like a face or some kind of design will pop out in it. So if you can find that, trying to hold on to that perspective as long as you can, Another example of it would be like this 1990s magic eye shit where, you know, you can look at the randomness and you can either have the image pop out or sink in. And then once you can find it, trying to hold on to that image, you can even do some things and make it a bit more difficult, like moving it further away or closer while still maintaining um, the visual perspective. I just like how it gives your, it feels like it gives your mental visualization muscles a rep and it helps you to focus in on, you know, a particular part of consciousness that, that you want to stay locked in on. Not unlike, say, with like hypnagogic work, which we'll be talking about, you know, here very shortly, where you want to have this hypnagogic imagery come up and be able to maintain a particular perspective or view on it.